Hi everyone, this is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel, The Healing Soul Tarot. Um, I mentioned the other night I was going to do another star seed reading. Uh, I ran a poll and um, it was the star seed reading was just edged out by a small percentage for a uh, past life reading. So I want to do a star seed reading anyway and thought I would post one for tonight. Um, Thank you to my subscribers for supporting me. Um, I really appreciate you guys and all of the really nice comments. Um, it's really been encouraging me to just keep continuing with this channel. Uh, the next milestone, of course, is a thousand subscribers. So with your guys' support, uh, please like, share, and subscribe these videos and uh, hit the notification button. Um, if anyone is new, welcome. This is my channel. So yeah, we're going to do a star seed reading. Oh, and before we get into it, um, I'm also running a contest. Um, it's the winner will receive a free reading from me. Um, so just like, share and subscribe and put in the comment section I'm in. I'll keep track of those. Um, the contest will close this Wednesday and I will announce the winner on Thursday. Okay. So let's just get started, all right? So as usual, I'm gonna clear the air. Just take a deep breath and mind your ears, please. I'm trying to ring the bell a little more on the quiet side because I know some people don't like get that sound in their ears. And uh, I think my neighbors are getting a little annoyed with it. So <laughs> anyway, um, all right. Ancestors, spirit guides, angels, and higher beings. What messages do you have for the Star Seed Collective? Please come forward. Special messages, advice on next steps for the Star Seed Collective, please. This is a reading for the Star Seed Collective. What messages, advice, next steps should the collective consider? Thank you. Okay, so we have wait. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. So we all know that things happen in divine timing. So for the star seeds, we know that uh, we're here for a purpose. Um, our purpose is to lift humanity using uh, whatever gifts we may have. Um, you know, I mentioned before, I believe that the world needs more healers and it doesn't really matter to me what you do as long as you're in the caring profession. Um, but that means that you have a gift and uh, the mission of the star seeds is to come forward and just use their gifts to uplift humanity. Um, there's a purpose for that, and we don't know yet. Like I said, everything is laid out by the universe, by divine guidance. Um, sometimes we're not supposed to know the end of the story, okay? We're just supposed to, to trust, um, have faith, and and accept the blessings and the, and the guidance that is being sent our way, okay? But for now, we're just being told to wait. Okay, we may not know all the answers yet because the story is still being written. All right, things are still being woven. Okay, what else do we have? The Golden Children. Inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. So this is a direct call out to the star seeds, the golden children, the indigos, um, they have many names, okay? Um, but the universe is calling out to you, all of you um, to recognize your inner child, your tenderness, your innocence. Um, those are rare gifts. So, yeah, I mean, that's part of the Starseed mission to use your rare gifts, okay? To bring light to humanity, to lift humanity, okay? To lift spirits, to heal, all right? So we're being called. What else do we have? 
I remember. Soul plan. The fated life versus the destiny life. So this is interesting. I mean, it goes right with the first card that said, you know, to wait, things are being woven. And I talked about, you know, we just have to have faith and trust. Um, you know, I think all star seeds kind of deep down remember um, exactly, you know, who they are and what their mission is. They know inherently that they may not be from this universe um, and that they may have a, a special mission assigned to them. Um, there's this remembrance deep down within the soul, okay? That's part of your soul plan. The faded life versus the destiny life, okay? The faded life would be just the life that you're living here in reality, the day-to-day. -day. The destiny life is what the universe has planned, okay? So they're two separate things. We're being asked just to remember who we are and to trust the soul plan, okay? If that makes sense. It's also about finding balance too. I always say, remember, you know, um, don't be so spiritually minded. One is no earthly good. So this card, you know, it's also remember, it's all about a balance as, as well, a balance between the faded life and the destiny life. Okay. We still have to know how to function in this world, learn how to be a part of it, but not of it. Okay. Um, that's sort of the burden of a star seed sometimes. Okay, finding that balance between the two worlds. What else do we have? Hyreth, I think is how you say that. Longing for home, homesick for the stars. So this is the other burden, you know, that star seeds have. Um, there's always this longing for home. Sometimes you can't quite put your finger on it, but when you start to to recognize, you know, your true nature as a star seed, a golden child, um, you automatically sort of start to continue this longing to to return home. Um, but remember, you took on this mission uh, to to come to this world um, for a reason, for a purpose. Um, you know, the universe is saying we recognize the difficulty in that you are homesick. We do recognize that, okay? We'll get more detail, but in a lot of ways, this card might be talking about, you know, finding um, like-minded people, finding your soul tribe in the meantime could help as well, okay? The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. So like I said, the universe is calling the star seeds to come forward with their special gifts. Um, many of you may be experiencing awakenings. Um, sometimes it, you know, it could be happening spontaneously. Um, you know, normally sometimes spiritual awakenings will happen because of some sort of trauma or stressful time period or whatever it is that you've gone through. It's not necessarily the case. Um, sometimes people are just hit with it spontaneously. So I think this card is letting us know that there will be more of those instances in the next little while um, where people are going to just awaken, okay? Um, they're going to see that there's more to this, this world that we're living. They will become activated. Okay, um, this is about integration as well. Okay, um, you know, I mentioned before, I think there's a new age of enlightenment coming. So the more souls that awaken, the quicker this age of enlightenment is, is going to come forward. There are those, of course, that don't want this to happen. Okay, they'll say that, you know, we're the ones who are woke, whatever. I, yeah, <laughs> what's the opposite of woke? Right? I don't I don't want to be the opposite of woke. That would mean I would be unwoke. I don't know. I don't want to be that. Um, but yeah, this is about you know doing what's best for humanity and putting humanity first. Okay. Um, so all this other stuff, once you put humanity first um, and accept your true mission as a starseed, which is to lift all of humanity, 
um, yeah, I mean, you'll see a lot of people awakening to that notion. It just makes sense, right? Okay, that it, it, if we take care of humanity and do what's best for humanity at all times, and I don't mean just a segment of humanity, I mean all of humanity and all the things that tie in with that. I mean, what's best for humanity? You know, we need a good, healthy, non-polluted environment to live in. That's what's best for humanity. There's one example. What's best for, for humanity? Making sure that everyone has you know, peace and love in their life, food on their table, a roof over their head, regardless of where they're from. That's the mission of a star seed, right? To increase, you know, people's awareness and just understanding and love and tolerance of one another, okay? All of that is what's good for humanity. So that's why I say we always need more healers um, coming to the forefront, showing your gifts, using your gifts, okay, especially you know, with the last few years, what's been happening in the world. Um, yeah, you're definitely being called to come forward, okay? And we're going to see more spontaneous awakenings. It's an interesting time. I think it's going to be a really interesting time. Weight of the world. Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. So, okay, especially if you're an empath or a sensitive, um, you know, just anyone, really. Um, you still have to protect yourself. I mean, it's easy to carry the weight of the world and feel the weight of the negativity. The universe is just saying, you know, remember your healthy boundaries, okay? Um, you can help the world, but recognize maybe you can't help everyone, uh, but just do what you can and remember to look after yourself as well, okay? Um, but it does feel, as a star seed, it does feel like the weight of the world can be on you because you are so finely attuned to the sufferings of the world, the energy of the world. You feel that. Okay, so it can be a bit of a burden. It can make you homesick, you know, and the universe is saying we recognize that. But there's a, something is coming, it's happening. It's about just building the numbers, integration time, getting this idea out in the universe that, you know, there can be another way of existing, a more peaceful, more beautiful way of existing with one another, okay? Um, I think that is the overall message, but yeah, we just, you know, we need people to come forward. Um, I did a previous video about star seeds and their special gifts. Uh, go back and take a look at that if this reading is resonating with you and you want a little bit more information about your special gifts. Go back and um, I get into a bit more detail about what some of those gifts could be. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Lifting the veil. Yeah, I mean, you're here to lift the veil. Questioning everything, anything, unaligned must go. Anything that's not aligned with what's best for humanity, it needs to go. It's done. There are things that just don't suit us well. Like I said, pollution, war, famine, hunger. There's enough financial resources in the world where no one should be going hungry. But yet, it's happening, okay? We have to lift the veil and, and show the truth to the world, and that's what a star seed is. We're, we're the truth tellers, okay? We're the keepers of the archives. So we have to tell them, we have to speak the truth about, um, you know, just what our missions are and what is and what is good and what can help, okay? It's a shift in thinking is basically what's required. It's a shift in thinking. What else do we have? Double mission, see? Light worker, star seed. Serve the world by being you. So it's, it's, yeah, I mean, the universe is just saying, you know, the next steps are just to be you. Let your light shine. Serve the world just by being you. Okay, if you're a light worker, star seed, healer, you know, just be you and spread that, that light in that way of being in the new ideology out in the world, okay? Um, let's get a little bit more detail 
I don't think I need to, let me just see. What else do you have for the Starseed Collective? What does the Starseed Collective need to look out for? Okay, so we have Ankh. What does the Starseed Collective need to look out for? What do we need to look out for? Wishes, phones. It's interesting that these old symbols, old Egyptian symbols, look, the dagger, they're coming through. So we're getting some ancient advice right now. The starseed ancestors are coming through. We have a new world. Huh. Just uh, one more. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, we do have a job to do. That's it's just being reiterated, but to move forward with love, right? That's the new ideology to love one another, put humanity first, lift humanity. Okay. It's about secret knowledge, life, increased awareness and exalted power. You know, this is your, this is your power as a star seed. It's ancient and secret knowledge. It's an increased awareness of how the world works. And there's a power in that. The Ankh also means love and opening a new door. Um, just one sec. In like the Egyptian magic, the Ankh is about, you know, of course, love. I just wanna see if I can find something here. I have the 172, let me just see. In Egyptian magic, um, you know, it represents love, understanding, life force, okay? Um, this book is The Way of the Cartouche. It's another deck that I really like to use, especially for starseed readings, because it does um, tap into the ancient knowledge of the ancient star seeds, okay, which I believe were the Egyptians, anyway. Um, but in this book, it will take the meaning of these Egyptian symbols and break them down into three levels. So we have the superconscious level, the subconscious level, and the material level. On the superconscious level, the Ankh is a key, so we all, we know that it's a key to the dawning of a new state of awareness, okay? so. It's an enlightening contact with the higher or transpersonal self. So this represents, it's actually the symbol for a star seed. Okay. We represent this new state of awareness, a new state of consciousness. And it's, a, it, it's not time yet, but with more awakenings as more people become awakened the time will come closer okay um yeah i won't get into that because it's a whole other a whole other set of meanings but anyway um so yeah that's kind of your mission okay and the wish of the universe is to have the star seeds come forward and use their gifts okay their knowledge their secret knowledge the desired outcome, of course, is to uplift humanity. It's our wish. Um, we have grand visions of the future and hoping for the impossible. You know, this is something that star seeds feel down in their bones. You know? Um, they, they just want the, you know, the, how do I word this? It's about mortality in a way, okay? You know, as star seeds, we, we know that our time here is short, but our time within the universe is infinite, okay? So it's, we have time to, to teach the world a different way, okay? 
there's there's time it, it may not happen in this lifetime okay but our not only are we trying to lift humanity but we want to leave this knowledge behind as we go for the next generation for the next generation for the next you know what i mean we want to lift each generation and teach them these new ways okay so that we have a stronger foundation a stronger understanding of what you know it really means to be um a star seed and care about humanity as a whole right the scarab is about rebirth and renewal regeneration it's about a cycle so like i said it's this knowledge is as a star seed part of your mission is to plant that seed every generation in every life until we can have a full integration of like-minded individuals who believe that you know there's more to um the universe out there that we're all connected all right we're all connected through the life force through the energy force through mother earth okay um and by being connected then we'll start to truly understand how um it's so important to look after all aspects of humanity okay um because if one piece becomes unbalanced or knocked out that affects the rest of it right um so yeah we have 19 dagger you know there's it's it's kind of knowing that the dagger represents betrayal so i think for star seeds yeah i mean it's not an easy path and you will have people who are maybe slightly aggressive towards you i think i talked about this in an empath reading if you're an empath um you reflect back what other folks don't like about themselves and they may react negatively uh towards you and it might throw you completely off guard right you don't even have to say anything um but just your mere presence may unsettle people okay so the universe is just letting you know as a star seed be aware okay of any hidden aggressions or betrayal but you do have the light okay keep the light lit keep your shine all right and you will be able to stay on path um it represents the candle represents spiritual enlightenment and with the spider you know you're creating a new world of people who are spiritually enlightened okay or like i said experiencing these spontaneous awakenings okay you're we're creating um a new way of being a new way of existing and cohabitating with one another all right um we got to watch out for those who manipulate us that's what the poppet is um for me the poppet has two meanings um yes it's about manipulation brainwashing or having control over someone you know yeah there are folks right now who you know kind of no matter what you say it's not going to pull them into this this state of spiritual awareness they're the the ones who are just maybe you can't help there are those who just want to stay stuck um they like things as they are as long as what's happening in the world doesn't affect them they could care less right um as a star seed it doesn't matter you feel that that pain and that dark energy out in the world anyway and you want to help and do something about it there are those who just you know they will never care it it's not within them to see beyond uh the bubbles that they they live within okay they're the ones that are being controlled by whatever you know whatever you want to say about the way the society is is structured now um through consumerism or just greed or whatever right um but the poppet is also traditionally poppets were made to distract the devil okay they were little dolls that were offered left out um you know just to keep the devil at bay the devil would be busy playing with these these instead of bothering other people okay but i think in a lot of ways the message is still just you know no matter what stay true to the mission okay um and but be careful okay because you cannot 
it's here right by boundaries. Yeah, the weight of the world. Like I said before, you can't help everyone as a star seed, okay? Um, even though we want to, we want to use our gifts to help society, we, the important thing is to recognize that some people you just, you won't be able to. Don't waste your energy in that, okay? It could be quite detrimental to your own well-being, okay? Um, we have 54, the B. You know, hard work and productivity. This is this is a project. You know, they, the universe wants you to take action on a project. Um, maybe build, like I said, like-minded communities of, of people who sort of feel the same way, who would like to, you know, see a sense of, um, you know, just justice for all in the world, right? Um, it's going to require communication, good communication. Um, so you want to be in a setting where maybe you bring together like-minded people and we just talk about these things, right? We talk about this way of operating in the world and what's good for, hum for humanity and how can we better the humanity? How can we protect the planet? Um, so maybe this is one way of using your gift or a next step, you know, putting together a group or an organization of like-minded people who can, you know, through their own hard work and social interactions actually affect positive change within the world, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, I I hope that makes sense. I mean, it's, a, it, it's always a lot of information when you do starseed readings, but I think overall the message is, you know, just continue speaking about it, spreading this idea of what star seeds are, what the, what they actually are, what their mission is um, with regard to uplifting humanity as a whole. Uh, spread the idea that, um, you know, more healers are needed. So we need people with gifts, you know, people who work in the caring profession. Um, even if you're an environmentalist, an activist, you know, we need these people to step forward to help um, balance and, and heal heal the earth and help future generations, you know, learn a new way of existing as well. Okay, so I hope you guys liked that reading. Let me know below if this resonated. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.